Coach Wild's second half. Eastern View got some turnovers, kind of sparked a comeback for them. You had to pull one comeback yourself there at the end. Describe the emotions of that second half. Now every game has a ton of highs and lows, and this one took that to the extreme. I'd say, I mean, we started off real strong, but we knew coming out of half, we need to have a first big drive. We didn't do that. And they capitalized on, on our mistakes in the second half. And like you said, a lot of highs and lows, but what I'm proud of, we found a way to win. And that's what playoff football is about, finding a way to win. So we did that, survived in advance. Let's go in the next one. Cole Elrod and Bo Sano have been workhorses all season. Talk about that touchdown at the end, what that means for them, you know, as they make this run. It's unbelievable. I mean, all we're saying in that situation is, hey, let's give it to our best player. <laughs> let's, uh, let's throw it up. Let's let our best players go to work. And uh, they, they made a phenomenal play. I mean, there's nothing else to say besides, besides that. There's no offensive genius behind that play. Let's throw it up to the good guy. And obviously, you've had success here as a player. What does this mean to you being able to get a win as a coach now? Oh, it's, it's more than me. It's it's the staff that's been working here since 2019 that we've been working together with and um, that's been through uh, some low times here. It's the seniors that were freshmen in 2019 that were 2 and 18. It's those guys. So it means a lot to all of us. It's not me. Rob? Coach, <clears throat> kind of piggybacking off that, uh, reestablishing the culture. I know that was priority one when you came on board right. in 2019. Right. COVID interrupts things, you know, disappointing in the last year, had a chance to make the playoffs, didn't get it. How do you now build upon this, not just for next week against Dinwiddie, but just going forward? Because obviously you have a senior class that's done a lot. Um, so you're going to have a lot to have to work on 2023 and beyond. Absolutely. And we'll worry about that stuff after this year. We know, um, like you mentioned before, you mentioned in the, in the uh, beginning of the question, was the culture is primary. So that's the main thing. Um, and we'll worry about all the other stuff when that comes. But I think what the seniors have done an awesome job of is building a culture that can be released. And we'll worry about replacing players when that comes. But we're just focused on playing with these guys right now as long as we can. How do you explain an experience of playing at Denver? It's one of the more unique locations in the area. You're very familiar with having to play there and play against them. Yeah, so I actually, I've watched a couple games there. I have never played a game at them. You haven't played at So Denver. Clayton, Whoa, had, you know, okay. all the games that we played them three times all were at home when I was a player. Clayton, who's on staff, Clayton Cheetah, yep. he's played down there in the regular season. He has. And we have all family friends that have played down there. So we, we'll, we'll definitely talk to them about it. But the thing about them, Woody, they're just tough. No, it's football team. So we got to come ready to go. So, um, you know, we, we believe we can play with anybody, and that's going to be another great challenge. Awesome. Coach, congratulations.